What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I want to show you how to make buildings move. And yes, that is actually possible in Final Cut Pro 10, but this will require, I would say, a lot of patience. And when I mean a lot of patience, I mean having to know how to use keyframes, um, having to know that you're going to be using a lot of layers and you're going to be having a crazy timeline. But overall, this is a very easy tutorial to do, um, or this is a very easy effect to do. And I'm going to show you the effect again, as you have probably already seen in the beginning of the video. If I push play here, you're going to see that they just pretty much animate and it's so, so cool. So I got the inspiration, of course, from uh, Ben TK, I believe. I'll leave his video in the description of this video. And his video is just absolutely mind blowing. This is the effect that I'm gonna show you how to do and it's very similar to what he has done. Of course, he probably spent a little more time than I did uh, using this effect here. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shut up and just get started uh, with the tutorial. So we wanna import our video. You want to have your camera set pretty much like this, exactly like this, but without the camera move, moving, of course. So you wanna set it on a tripod without that many people and without birds, because there's birds here, but that's fine. And you want an actual background. So this is where the tricky part comes in, and I think in my opinion is having to find a background that suits the location of this. If you have other, since you're, I'm, I'm assuming since I'm not in India, I, I can't really make this happen, but I actually found a video from the same website, and it's just a Vegas desert, and I mean, I don't know the climate in, in India, but this looks kind of similar to the location here so this would work just fine so i'm going to drag both of these clips into the timeline and i'm going to drag the uh this one here the vegas clip below the main clip because this is going to serve as our main backdrop because we're going to be adding a lot of masks so now we have this video here and it's slowed down a little bit but that's fine it's just so we can slow down the movement of the clouds and so cool. So once we're done with here, we want to actually mask out everything besides the actual building. We're going to drag the draw mask directly on top of this clip here. So now we're going to go into the draw mask. So we're going to start over here and we're just going to make our way around like so. So we're just pretty much selecting our, I guess, our, our, our plane here. So we're going to go and zoom into around 200%. Zoom in as much as you need to because you're going to be you're going to be adding a lot of a lot of masks. So I'm just going to quickly make uh, some selections here. This is going to be a really crappy job, guys. And I know I, I really wish I could spend more time showing you how to do this, perf you know, really good and perfect it. But since I don't want to spend too much time on this, I just want to show you the basic idea of doing this. And then you guys can go ahead and apply that to create some really cool and different effects. In this part, I would spend a lot more time to actually add these points because this is what's actually going to be in the main uh, frame here. So once you're going to be around here, you're going to have to actually zoom out to around 50% and just make a selection like this. Okay. And then I'm going to click here and this will finish this here and you can see all of our points and you will see the back, uh, the background. So I'm actually going to go into the inspector window and we're going to click on the draw mask and I'm actually going to zoom into around the fit. I'm gonna move this back here like so. So if I click off of it, you're gonna see what it looks like without it, like this, okay, and that's what you want. You can see that the camera moves a little bit and that's what you don't want to happen because you can see it in the keyframes, but that's totally fine. So I'm going to now change the size of our background to only show the mountains. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scale this all the way so I can't see the city anymore. And I'm gonna do something like this. I might want to go around 50% and kind of change the rotation a tad like so and I'm gonna click done and so now it looks like it's part of I don't know like it's part of the of the of the scene now of course it looks fake right now but once we uh, add our, our color adjustments and everything this would look a lot better so once you're at this point it start uh, we're gonna start to uh, actually animate the building so we're gonna hold down alt or option and we're gonna click and drag upwards to create a copy of this top layer okay from this point what you want to do is you want to click on the top layer which is what we're gonna be using for the rest of the other layers pretty much to animate the building so we're gonna go into the inspector window and then we're gonna go into the draw mask okay and right now it just made a copy of this one which usually has the same uh, keyframes, but we're gonna reset that by clicking this right here. 
and this will reset it to how it was in the beginning. So now every time you make a copy, you're going to have to click reset and then make your points. And then once you're finished, you're going to make a copy and just do that again for every point of the building. So like, for instance, I want to use this one, uh, this first tower and animate it. All I got to do is it doesn't really matter where because you're going to be adding a draw mask. So we're going to go in, zoom in around 200%. And I'm going to make a selection of this building here. It's going to be a very rough build, uh, very rough selection, um, but I'm going to try and make it as best as I can here. So, and I'm going to finish off by by clicking this little the starting point. And you're going to see a circle next to the pen tool. So click that, and then now you have finished the first building part, if that makes sense. So now if I zoom out to fit you can now see that it's a separate piece of that building which is kind of neat so now you can do anything to this piece you can animate it you can have it fly in you can have it you can do whatever you want so in this case i want it to kind of rise from the ground upwards so what i want to do is you're going to have to change the layers for each of these pieces of the building so like let's say this one we're going to move this one below uh, this piece here this right here if i press v on the keyboard you're going to see that this is our plane this has to be at the very top of all of our layers or else it's going to mess up the layering and you're going to have to figure it out later. So this one is our second clip here, which is this separate piece. So that's totally fine. And this is our background. So that's how you want it. Um, that's how you want it layered or ordered. Okay. So just think of it as Photoshop. So from this point, we're going to select the middle clip, which is this piece here. And we're going to go into the position. You're going to be using this a lot. Okay. So we're going to go into the position here we're going to go into the y axis this is our y and this is our x so we're going to click and drag it downwards without adding a keyframe yet and then we're now we're going to click the the keyframe so click this plus icon next to wherever you're making your adjustments then just push play or just move it for a couple of frames i'm going to go around here and then i'm going to go i'm going to click this number again and i'm just going to push zero and press enter and you're done so now if i go back and i push play it's going to animate just like that, and if and of course it kind of comes in a little bit uh, fast. You can change the speed technically by just allowing more time. Like let's say if we reset the position, and we go to the beginning and we move the y-axis down. Okay, I'm gonna move it down a little bit more. I'm gonna push the plus icon. Let's say I wanted to do. Well, let's say I wanted to animate slower. Instead of it being around 30 frames, I'm gonna have it around a second. So now, if I click this and I push zero and I push play, it's gonna come in a lot slower. So that is the thing that you also have to keep in mind is the is the timing and the layering and the keyframing. Okay, that's all you need to really know on how to do this effect. So now let's do the next one. So we're gonna click the top one, which is gonna be our plane. That's totally fine. So now all you have to do is reset it again, reset the draw mask. So it's gonna look something like this and you're gonna also have to reset the transform tool. So just click this and this will reset everything to the to how it was. So now click on the draw mask, click on here and then we're gonna do this piece here. And then finish it off and there you go. So now we're gonna go back to fit. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go to the transform I want this one to also rise up, but at a different time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the position, we're gonna do the Y axis, we're gonna click down, just click and drag down, and this will hide it. And then we're gonna click the plus icon to add our keyframe to animate. So now we're gonna skim through the video. So now you can see it's coming up, it's coming up. So since we've added our keyframe, we're gonna pretty much animate this uh, whenever we want. So let's say once it's halfway, I want this one to start rising, uh, or I want it to finish, uh, once it's all the way stopped, I'm going to click on this number, I'm going to press 0, enter, and now it's going to show up there. So now if I go back and I push play, it's going to look just like that, okay? And I hope that really makes sense. It can be really confusing at first, but I really hope you guys are getting the, the grasp of this. So I'm going to do this one more time, and I'm going to uh, reset this. So I'm going to go into uh, the draw mask, I'm going to reset that. So now we're going to do this little circle dome uh, at the top. Okay, there we go. So sweet. So now I'm going to go back to fit and I'm going to go back to transform. Make sure this is selected, the clip right here. And we have our dome. Right now it's showing. So that's going to be a problem. So we're just going to go into the y axis. We're going to click and drag downwards to hide it because it's below uh, this piece here is our top piece, which allows everything that we're doing to hide it below it. I'm going to add a keyframe around here. So I'm going to go into the keyframe and I'm going to go. 
uh, right there, and I'm gonna push zero, enter. And now if I, um, so you can see that there's a problem right now. So let me show you, if I um, go back and I push play, you're gonna see that it shows in front. So we're gonna have to change the layering of this. So right now our main clip is the second clip. So we're gonna have to drag this downwards until you can't see, until the main dome is behind that building. That's what you want to happen, of course. All right, sweet guys. So once we're at this point, I mean, it's all up to you guys to really do the rest. Um, I'm not gonna show you the whole entire building because that will take a very long time. And I just wanna show you guys a basic idea of doing this, but I really want you to understand the idea of this really cool effect and how you can really make some interesting uh, combinations with the buildings once you add a lot of draw masks and you spend a lot of time actually perfecting this, this will come out looking uh, something like the video that I showed you guys, which is gonna be this one here. Once you add a color grade and you add a handheld effect by going into the effects browser, going into stylize, and then going into the handheld, which is this one. And this will allow you to make it that fake handheld effect, assuming you filmed this on a tripod. So now if I push play, this is what eventually will happen once you guys create um, the effects. Uh, before you go though, I do want to mention that you will have to add a, if I go back here, you will have to add a motion blur. So to do that, it's super easy. We're gonna go into the effects, we're gonna go into the blur, we're gonna go into directional blur, and we're gonna drag that directly on top of this clip here. This allows us to make it more realistic because without it, it's just gonna look super fake. So we're gonna go into directional blur, we're gonna go change the angles uh, depending on which way it's coming from. Since it's coming from the bottom up, we're gonna change the degrees to 90 degrees so that this arrow is pointing upwards and you can change the amount of this. So I normally click on it and type in 40. That's the most realistic, I guess. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move it to where it starts where you can't see it and click a keyframe, okay? And then we're gonna start it again. We're gonna skim through the video and right before it ends, we're actually gonna go a couple of frames before that and then we're gonna add another keyframe and then move the time head again right as it ends, right there, and then click on the number and press zero and enter. This will allow us to get rid of it, to get rid of the blur smoothly once it comes to an end. So if I push play here and I go back, you're gonna see that blur take effect so it doesn't look fake, fake like this building here. So that's what you're gonna do for every single piece of the building, uh, making copies, adding draw masks, and then adding the directional blur. Yeah, I really try to make this video as simple as possible. I can't really teach you everything in a short video. If you guys want a more, I guess, detailed video, then I'll probably have to make a separate uh, video. But if you guys found this video helpful, just leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you guys can see more videos just like this. And follow me on Instagram at KingTutsPro. Peace out, guys.